Hey guys, Raider here. Hope you're all doing great and having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're going to be going over a couple ways on how to get the most out of your camera for your Galaxy Z Fold 4 and a lot of other Galaxy devices as well. First thing I want to show you guys is Expert Raw. So Expert Raw is a raw shooting camera app made from Samsung and we can download it for free. So you want to go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. Once that opens up, we're going to go ahead and search for Expert Raw. There it is up top. All right, we're going to go ahead and click on that. You want to go ahead and install it. I just did an update on it right before shooting this video. Samsung does a lot of updates for this application, which is really cool. Again, completely free, no ads, no funny business like that. We're going to go ahead and open it up. All right, so here we have the application itself. It is just a regular standard camera app that you would expect, but it has some really nice features and that you have full control over your ISO, your exposure value, your shutter speed, your focus tracking. You can switch your lenses. We can also go here into settings, all right? And we can save the pictures as both RAW, JPEG, or both at the same time. Um, we can turn on auto HDR, location tags, uh, tracking autofocus, our grid lines, our shooting methods, which also has voice commands, just like the regular camera app. Turn on the shutter sound. All the typical things you would expect from a Samsung camera app, completely free. You can find this on the Galaxy Store and shoot your pictures in RAW, which is great for doing touch-ups later on during the photo editing process. All right, guys, the next thing I wanna take a look at with you is a debug menu or a labs menu that's available in the gallery application. Many of you that have been in the Samsung ecosystem for a while have probably already heard of this, but if you're new to it, uh, you probably haven't. Let's check it out real quick. So you're gonna open up the gallery application. All right, we're gonna hit on the hamburger menu down here and we're gonna click on settings. Go ahead and scroll all the way down so you get to about gallery. Click on that, wait for it to finish loading up. So here on the version number, go ahead and tap on this repeatedly. I think it's like seven or eight times to enable it. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. All right, Gallery Labs is enabled, cool. So we'll hit the back button once, scroll down just a little bit further, and now we have a new section called Gallery Labs right here. So let's go ahead and open this up. So we have quite a few options that are now enabled in this lab section for the gallery application. Let's go through a couple of the major ones that I think make the biggest difference right off the bat. So by default, we have a film strip in the viewer which has this default behavior. Let me show it to you real quick. So if we go back and I go back to my camera and we have a video up here on the top left. If I click on it, here's our film strip, right? And the video just sits there like this and plays on its own, all right? Let's go back and adjust this in the lab section. So we're gonna go back here Go back to settings, scroll all the way down to labs. And one thing I want to point out to you guys is every time you make an adjustment in gallery labs, you need to close out of the application completely, like swipe up from your recent applications, get rid of it, and then reopen the gallery application for it to take effect. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we have film strip and viewer, which was that film strip down on the bottom part, video player mode in film strip. We have default, none, which just has a play video button to stop and start your video. And we also have the legacy video seek bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and enable that, click okay. I'm gonna exit out of here. Now I need to close out of the gallery app entirely for this to take effect. So let me just do a close all. All right, I'm gonna open up gallery again. We're gonna go right back to my camera reel here. And I will now click on this video. You now see I have a seek bar to go back and forth between my video as well as a play pause button. So you can go back to the old school legacy Android controls, which I actually prefer this. I prefer having a seek bar to go to wherever I want to do a video. So you can now enable this through the gallery lab section. Let's take a look at a couple other settings. All right, so we're gonna go back into the gallery labs. All right, another cool one is dynamic spacing between photos. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on so I can show you guys what it looks like with it on. Let's go ahead and do that. So we will exit out of the gallery app, go back into it. And if I go into any one of these, let's go into archive. I know I have a lot of pictures there. You can see here, there's a little bit of a black spacing between these photos. You see that little bit there? And it kind of stays with the pictures as you, you know, shrink in on them and expand them out. You can see just a little bit of gap between the pictures. So let's go ahead and go back into the gallery lab section, right? We'll go back here, settings, scroll down, gallery labs. And we're gonna turn this dynamic spacing between photos off. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Exit out of the lab section. Let's close out of the gallery entirely, right? 
Make sure I did that all the way. I don't think I did. There we go. We're going to open the gallery back up. I am going to go back into archive. Take a look at the photos now. They are completely stuck together. You see what I mean? Like there is no spacing anymore if I zoom in. You see that? So you'll be able to get more photos on the screen at the same time. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more thing here. We'll go back to Gallery Labs, right? Scroll down here, back to Labs. All right, so we have more features here for showing your timeline. So you see here, timeline and album. Pictures in this view are clustered by date. So by default, this is off. So let's take a look at what this looks like. If we go back to the gallery, right? And we go to any one of my picture rolls here, you'll see that we just have a long list of pictures, period. Just picture after picture after picture. So let's go back into Gallery Labs. All right, go back to Settings, Gallery Labs. We're gonna go down here till we see Timeline and Album. Let's go ahead and turn that on, right? Let's exit out of the gallery application entirely. All right. Now let's go ahead and open it back up and we will go back into one of our albums. Now look what happens. They are now broken apart by date. A lot easier for navigating your photos and getting to what you need by date. Uh, let me show you one more cool little feature in here. We'll go back in here, settings, scroll down to gallery labs. There's also a section down at the bottom here. Let me find it. Fixed date, time, etc. So we can click on this and this is going to scan all your photos and stuff and show you invalid dates. Um, here we go. Here's more right here that have invalid uh, size or aspect ratios. You see the pictures aren't loading up correctly. We can show all our zero KB files that we have. So any pictures that didn't get taken correctly or didn't get copied if you did a copy. Um, as well as a few other things like no location, stuff like that. So you have a quick way to access this information right from within this gallery lab section. Just a couple quick tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4's camera. This also works for most other Galaxy devices as well, like the Z Fold 3. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching.